tell us about some factors that would increase the likelihood of startup success at the pre-launch stage. The first thing is, um, and, and probably one of the major themes in the book is this whole concept of distinctive competence. Um, in other words, some unique talent, skill, or experience that you have that's truly different than is generally available in the market. If you build a business around your distinctive competence, you have a much higher probability of success. Uh, I would say that would be number one. Uh, number two would be this whole concept of um, developing a business model, but then testing it before you actually launch. Uh, getting customer feedback, securing pre-orders. In my case, um, we started our business in Stamford, Connecticut. Our first two customers were in uh, Minneapolis, out in Minnesota. One company was called Patterson Dental Company. Um, the other was American Express Financial Advisors. Basically asked for the pre-order and in both cases uh, the principals involved said we're going to stick with you. We know what you're capable of and uh, uh, within uh, two weeks of our formal launch date uh, we got formal contracts from both of them. And uh, so we had a business idea, we built the model, we secured the pre-orders, and then, uh, of course, we had our fingers crossed that they would follow through and actually give us the contracts that they had committed. And sure enough, they did. And a lot of that was built around this whole concept of distinctive competence. In other words, they felt like I could take them uh, to the promised land, uh, particularly in the field that we were competing in, which was real estate outsourcing. 